created this drink. Okay, I didn't create this. I created this drink, but oh my gosh, stop. Hey y'all, hey, Erica and Jason with Time to Shrink, and it's time to drink. Time You're to supposed drink. To say oh. with me. oh well. I never know. I what thought we're doing. it would be cute, but he just never knows what we're doing. Never know what we're doing. I do know this though. I'm sitting down tonight because Oh look, you have your hey, hey y'all. Hey. Hey. Look at that. Look at that. We ordered some shirts, y'all, just to see. How fun. Yep, yep, yep. But like I said, I'm sitting down tonight because this is Erica's creation. 100% everything about it is Erica. All right, take your spot. Hazel says, what is going on? Hey, baby. Oh, you're messing with the placement of the towels. Now I know why they get messed up. It's your tail. <laughs> get out of here. Okay, y'all. We were in Jacksonville Beach at a place called Bold Bean. It is our favorite coffee shop pretty much anywhere, and they have created this new drink called a sparkling Americano. Oh my gosh, y'all. Jason ordered it on accident because he thought it was going to be hot, but then he realized how good it was, introduced it to me, and we've been making it at home ever since. So we decided to make, or I decided to make a boozy sparkling Americano. So I have been working on creating like a low carb coffee liqueur, like a Kahlua. In the lab. <laughs> In the lab. And this kitchen has been our lab for sure. And I created a rapid infusion version and like a longer version that took more like three weeks. Where is so, the rapid infusion oh, version? Oh, I only have one. Come on, Jason, <laughs> Mr. Set Man. He's supposed to have all this set, guys. Sometimes the help. I know. Okay, so basically I made a rapid infusion. I wrote down Kahlua on here, but really I'm calling it more like a low carb coffee liqueur because I feel like Kahlua is more rum based. This is vodka and rum. So I'm not gonna give you the, go through how I made these exactly because it would take us a while. But I used this one. This one I made in the rapid infusion. And what that means is, you know those whipped cream can... Hold on. So what we do is we take a whipped cream canister. They call this in the cocktail world an ISI. Is that right, Jack? Something like that. Something like that. But basically what you're doing when you make whipped cream in here is you're putting nitrous oxide into here. And the pressure infuses it and also makes it like whipped. But... If you want to pressurize alcohols, it can really quickly infuse that alcohol with whatever you put in here. So I've been playing with making flavored vodkas and flavored whatever alcohols, but also I thought maybe I could make a low carb Kahlua type drink in this. So that's what I did, and this is what I got. This was so with real quick. Run us through. If somebody wants to make this at home, what do they put in here to rapid infuse the Kahlua? To rapid infuse. Yeah, if they want to make this because they want to make this drink, they're going to need to be able to make well, one. Well, I'll so. I'll put the rapid I'll put the rapid infusion version down below. I'm okay. still perfecting this version, right. but basically it's coarse coffee or coffee beans, cinnamon, allspice berries, whatever spices you want to flavor it with, and a coffee bean that you like. So we use yeah. White Russian from Bones yeah, don't get because, <laughs> don't yeah, get yeah, just like you get, you like. get what <laughs> you get with what you pay for alcohol, same with coffee. For when you're drinking it, for sure when you're going to infuse something hardcore yeah. into it. So this one is not as pretty as this one in color, but this one is super tasty. And after I let it sit for about 20, 30 minutes to infuse and open this back up, when I strained it, I did add my cinnamon stick and my mm -hmm. vanilla back to this. So the longer it sits, the more cinnamony and vanilla it gets. Yeah, and it's really cinnamony. Right. It's, uh, it, this has probably been there for a couple of weeks now. It tastes really good. Yeah. I like it. This one took me about three weeks to make. I just tasted it today, and we had to play with it to get it where we wanted it. But it's pretty darn good, too. I've done the same thing with this one. I've got the cinnamon and the vanilla beans in here. So, long story short, we're going to use this one to make my sparkling Americano boozy style. So what I'm doing is you could do this with chocolate syrup or caramel syrup from Chalk Zero. I'm taking the cup that I'm gonna put it in and I'm just kind of letting the caramel run down the sides a little bit. And this is just a ball jar. 
just a ball jar. You can whatever size you want. We like to use quite a bit. So you're gonna get it like this and let it just kind of go down the sides. And then we're gonna top this with ice, which is another thing we do not have sitting here. So I'll be back. Okay, so what you need for this, it depends on how much caffeine you want, but one to two shots, or you could do three or four if you want. But this is a couple of shots of whatever kind of, we have an espresso, espresso machine, but whatever kind of shots of espresso you want. I usually pull those right over top of the ice, just hot, and that is super tasty. We're gonna take an ounce of cinnamon syrup. This is a really thick cinnamon syrup. It is super tasty. Half an ounce to an ounce. If you don't like a super sweet coffee, you could do half an ounce. I like it a little sweeter, so I do an ounce. And then I am going to, I'm shaking up my heavy cream. We're gonna take an ounce of this Kahlua coffee liqueur, whatever we wanna call it. I'm not familiar with these all that much, y'all. I see ounce. it. I see the ounce. I like this one because I don't spill it. There's an ounce. I can see where if you do it on this side, you got to fill it all the way to the top. Y'all, I should not have worn white. I think I'm okay, though. I think I'm okay. Okay. And next, we are going to top it with some heavy cream, however much you want. Like a tablespoon or two. And then San Pellegrino. You can use any kind of sparkling water, but I feel like the San Pellegrino just has the minerally kind of. Yeah, but it just is perfect. We've tried it with other ones. We like it best with this, but you go with what you love, just like we always tell you with any of the alcohols. You're going to fill it up so all the way to the top. Then you're going to take, isn't that pretty? Yeah. You're going to take so your good. straw and stir it all together so that you get the flavor all together. There's your sparkling Kahlua-ish. Your boozy sparkling Americano. What mm. you think? It's so good. So good. I've got my little drink hiding back here. It wasn't supposed to show. Oops. Oh, it's so I'm good. Go ahead and take a drink of it since you saw it. Why not? <laughs> this is my spicy margarita. It's my fave. Jason made it for me. I wasn't <laughs> feeling drinking another of these today because I've drank. I've already had one of these today while I was playing with this that just came out. Yeah, this is really good. It's quite a way to start your morning. <laughs> Maybe don't have it in the morning. Maybe brunch or a mid-afternoon treat. We did have it in the morning the other day because it was the first time I thought of it and it was morning. <laughs> we may have. That's part of quarantine, right? You're not going anywhere. It's a lot of fun though. So anyways, y'all, rapid infusions are really, really cool. And the thing I wanted to tell you about that is it comes together way faster. I feel like it tasted a lot better a week later after the cinnamon had yeah. sat for a while. Yes. And it's also not quite as deep and dark and pretty in color. So I think if I was going to serve this, I would put it in a darker container because this one is just, I like, you know, what it looks like matters. And this one is like pure dark cold brew look. Yeah. And this one, it looks like it's going to be a week coffee which is not it's at not, all it's but good. i feel I like it looks like that i don't know if it's sharing on camera but this one did take me a full three weeks versus 30 minutes yeah. so anyways those are really fun to play with and i'm enjoying doing some rapid infusions of different things what you did you not like this you took it away from me i did oh here you go i thought he scooted it off to the side y'all <laughs> so anyways now it's hard standing isn't it I know. The standing spot. <laughs> now that we have two of these bottles, we're going to be playing with different coffee type drinks. I think Jason has a couple of the sleeves that he's playing with. So stay tuned for those at some point. Maybe in the fall, we'll do a lot of like coffee and hot toddies and that kind of yeah. stuff. It's not really the time of year for a coffee drink, but I don't know. Is it not always time for a coffee drink, especially an iced one? This is legit really, really good. And if I hadn't just had a sip of margarita, I would have a sip of it. Yeah. I don't think they go together Very all good. that well. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us, y'all. Thanks for coming back to another Time to Drink episode. We plan to do these every single Friday night about 6 o'clock. So please come back. All right. Bye, y'all. Be blessed.